important than the halfway point. So our lumen photometry is much more evenly spaced, much closer to a one-to-one -one ratio throughout the facility. Frankly speaking, this was a fantastic retrofit. I think we have some pictures of it later in the presentation. What you see here is an actual lighting layout. This is to demonstrate for you the power consumption. What we have done here to meet the minimum foot candle requirements of a particular facility using scotopic lumens, we found that we could meet that foot candles in this, in this new facility with 36 fixtures of 200 watts or a total of 720 watts, where the incumbent technology that they were considering required 30 fixtures at 450 total watts per fixture or a total of 13,500 watts. So as you can see, it's, it's about a 50% with a foot candle reading that has better distribution and almost identical point for point. Now here, what you see on the top side, on the left, is a 100-watt metal halide. We were told that these lamps were relatively fresh and that these lamps were on the high side, not even at the means lumen point. The after shot is a 40-watt HiMax. This was more than 50% savings. There was about, I think it was 43 or, or, or 4,800 of these. Three years later, there was a handful of bulbs that died prematurely and had to be replaced. Uh, very proud of this facility and for you reps out there I know who have enjoyed sales in similar applications we love application shots particularly before and after send them on in marketing department just loves to see those things now on the bottom side happens to be the same facility you see a 400 watt metal halide these were I'm told varied in life they don't do group relamping they do a one for one as required Frankly, my observation in this place is a few dozen have to go out before they'll get the lift out and replace those. Certainly, they're not doing anything close to a group relamping. On the right side, what you see is a 150-watt HiMax just after the first show following the initial retrofit. We couldn't even get in to do shots immediately because they had a trade show, a jewelry show, coming in immediately after that retrofit was done. So this was about several hundred hours of use after the initial installation. This particular facility is being completely renovated right now, and it is yet to be determined what light sources they'll use in the galleries and in the common areas. Some testimonials that we can provide for you for end users, from end users who have done retrofits using all the wattages and a good array of applications, include some universities, convention centers, uh, we mentioned New York City, I can think of another in San Antonio, another in LA. Con Edison Utility Company funded the use of HiMax in small warehouse and retail shops all across Manhattan and parts of Brooklyn, tens of thousands, and there was only a handful of distributors who took advantage of that program and they were very, very happy at the end of that program. And I understand that there may be additional programs in the future, in the near future. We've done lots of automotive plans, in some cases full retrofits, in other places just specific areas where they felt that they needed a higher quality of light. Uh, I heard recently that uh, we have landed a gymnasium franchise as they like the look. And in that particular case, they're not retrofits. These are all new construction, and they are taking advantage of the Max Light High Max fixtures, the fixtures that we develop to support your sales in the high max category. Now one last thing about the technology of HiMax and its applications that I think is very important for us all to know. HiMax, like similar light sources, uh, similar, similar alternative light sources, have heat issues like LED and induction. A bad application, a hot application, is going to end in increased lumen depreciations, very steep it can be, and or a very short life. We don't like problems, you don't like problems, and most important, your customers don't like problems. So in the past, it was a difficult process to get a full warranty approval on enclosed fixtures. We'd have to get our hands on a fixture and run thermal tests and the like. But we have evolved to a point where we can add this label. You see here Therm Max uh, or Thermax. Uh, Thermax is really, it's an irreversible thermal thermometer. Once it reaches a point, it changes color. For those applications that are enclosed or iffy, very simple. Get a sample through your local sales representative, maybe a couple, install them in the application that it's intended for the job, let them run for 100 hours at least or, or more, and then take a look at the label. We want to make sure that the components, the most heat sensitive components, don't meet the or, or exceed the maximum 
temperature threshold for the life that we expect for those components. It also makes warranty issues very simple. If you send it back because we had a problem with it and the label says that it was in a good application, it it's really becomes a no questions asked warranty. Certainly if the label turns black, we have to talk because the application was obviously too hot. But before we moved on, I did want to answer Saul's question about how long does it take to ensure the lamp is in the right application. And we say a minimum of 100 hours of use. And we like that to be continuous use, Saul. But, uh, you know, we'll work with you if that's uh, difficult in your particular application. So, you know, 100 hours can be, you know, as little as uh, four days or so, not normally more than a week or so. So uh, we think that the self-certification uh, will support you in your sales and give you and your customers a uh, sense of comfort that you've, you know, recommended a, a product that's going to last as expected in their application. What you're looking at here is one of the cut sheets, uh, one of several pages of a cut sheet for this product. It just demonstrates that we have a full lineup of products, including uh, voltage. We have 120 and 277 for our Canadian friends, and I see we have a few online here. Uh, we also have 347 volt available for you. In some cases, we offer warm white as well. Generally, for scotopics and for just better, brighter light, the 5,000 Kelvin is outselling the warm white color probably 10 to 1 or more. But the warm white still has a steady and regular market in houses of worship and other few select markets. So uh, do consider that as well. Now at the very last minute, we, we plugged a couple of slides here to just share with you some of the marketing programs that are going on. Right now we have what's called the Gondola Program, and it's actually an opportunity for very small stock order to get a nice shelving rack section and even some free product, including some new LED products. So uh, contact your local sales rep for details, but there is an opportunity right now for those distributors who haven't actually had the opportunity to, to start out with the HiMax. This is a, a good way to jump in and get a full gamut of products at a very good discount, including POP materials and the like. So uh, contact your local sales rep or your sales manager. As I travel across the country supporting you folks, I've seen many distributors who have this as a, as a poster on the wall. These are generally stocking distributors who are not just selling the bulbs as retrofits, but selling new fixtures with the HiMax light source. And you should know that very rare in energy efficient retrofitting, particularly in lighting, you know, generally the new energy efficient light source cost more than the incumbent light source and it's about ROI and you know how long is it going to take me to get my investment back. The HiMax product, I'll use the High Bay acrylic fixture as an example, a brand new application with a brand new fixture with the hook and, 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 and the socket, uh, 10 foot of cord uh, with a HiMax. You could, I'll even throw in there the inner reflector and a wire guard still cost about half of what the incumbent metal halide product cost new off the shelf. Uh, not half, I'm sorry, but a, a significant discount. So you save money before you even turn the lights on. There is a lot of competition these days in these products, uh, mostly one wattage or two from this guy or that guy. Uh, look for these things. Uh, Mogul Base, obviously that's going to be the low-hanging fruit. Offers a full line. You know, why do you want to buy different wattages, different sizes and shapes from different manufacturers? The thermal label, I can't express enough how much that will avoid problems. Uh, frankly, I've been through all of those problems and now they're gone. Uh, look for UL. Obviously, a non-UL product is not something you want to deal with. I believe we are the only ones who have UL on Mogul Base 277 volt. We use a fan and other high-tech thermal combating technologies, including heat sinks, thermal transfers, heat piping, fans, and other things. This is the key to longevity. Patented and uh, made in Korea as opposed to made in China. As you can see, you know, if, if, if you limit yourself to just those specifications, you're, you're tying yourselves to HiMax and you won't be disappointed. For more information about HiMax, MaxLight products in general, to see a full listing of these webinar series that we try to keep at about an, hour, uh, an average of, of 25 to 30 minutes, please join MaxLightNewsroom.com and follow us. All this information, including webinars, past webinars, and other great material can be found. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, at YouTube. Thank you.